everybody, welcome back to Epic Beauty Fail. I'm Jessica. On today's video, I'm doing the month end wrap up of five days of foundation for September. And this month, if you watch my videos, you would know that I did tinted moisturizers as my foundations for September. And I'm ready to go through them and tell you my thoughts. So I was not a big fan of just about any of the tinted moisturizers this month, to be honest with you. Um, I felt they all left me looking very shiny. Um, yeah, some of them I had to powder. It, it just, it was not my best month when it comes to foundation reviews. One of them really stood out as not just being shiny, but not looking the best on my skin either. None of them really did. <laughs> But I have to say that this one was probably the worst. It is the It Bye Bye Foundation Full Coverage Moisturizer. Um, this actually oxidizes throughout the day on my skin, which I didn't really expect in a moisturizer. But if you go back and look at my video, uh, most of the day I looked okay. But like in my final check-in at the end of the eight hours, I looked dark, like really dark darker than I did earlier in the day. So I know that this definitely oxidized on me. I feel like I, I, I really struggled. I only wore this twice. I struggled reaching the, for this. I just didn't want to reach for it because I knew it did not look good on me. So I really did not wear this very often. It was just not very good. Um, so this has to be my number five. I might wear it again mixed with something, but I try not to mix any foundations. Sorry, if you hear a squeaky toy, it's because one of my dogs is over here chewing on the squeaky toy. Anyhow, um, I try not to mix too much unless something's a total fail during the month because I want to try to get my best uh, opinion of that specific product without mixing it. Um, so I didn't mix this. I didn't mix any of these actually with anything. So yeah, this, I can't recommend this to anybody. It's not good. Not good at all. All right, my number four. I actually don't have because I returned it. Uh, it was the Laura Mercier. I'm going to put a, I'll put a picture up here. Laura Mercier uh, tinted moisturizer. Um, I had to return that because of the fact that number one, the shade was so off. And I mean, I bought the little sample size. I didn't buy the full size. So I would have been able to get a shade that probably looked better on me if I had bought the full size. The, the sample sizes or the smaller sizes um, did not have the shade range. So I, I returned it because of that. And I also was in my return window, which most of my foundations, I'm not in the return window by the time I get around to testing them because I try to buy them when they're on sale or, or whatever. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, but it also made me look so oily by the end of the day that I just couldn't keep it. And they do sell an oil-free version, which I would definitely be interested in trying in the future, especially if I got the right shade and the oil-free version. I have a feeling that I might actually like that, that version of it, the oil-free and the correct shade. Um, the original one, I just couldn't, I just couldn't keep because it made me look so oily by the end of the day. And I know it's just my oils mixing with the product, but I just, I couldn't, I couldn't keep it. I had to return it. All right, I'm gonna have to go, th these, the other three probably were close to being the same. Um, I'll go with this one as not, not my number three. This is the Alme Healthy Glow. I don't feel like this was bad. It was a little bit different because it does have the gradual self tan in it. I did not wear this multiple days in a row to be able to tell you or speak to the self tanning per, uh, properties of it. But I feel like this one, of the three remaining was the one that just didn't last the longest, like before it really started to break down. Um, I could wear this for a quick video. If I was wearing it for a video, if I was wearing it just for a couple of hours, this actually looks really, really nice. So if you're looking for a product that looks really nice only for a couple of hours, I would recommend checking this out, especially if you're interested in the gradual self tan uh, properties of this product. Um, but if you're looking to wear this for more than maybe a half a day, I, I would not recommend this. It, 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 it just, it, at least on my skin, which does get a little bit oilier in the summer, it just didn't work for me for long periods of time, but short periods of time, it actually looks really nice. So if you're looking for something just for like, uh, you know, dinner out or, um, you know, just something really quick and easy that you can put on that you're going to wear only for a couple of hours, I would definitely recommend checking it out. 
Uh, there's only like three shades in it though, like light, light, medium, and medium. So if you're darker than medium, you're not going to find a shade that w that works for you. So, all right. The last two I'm just going to say is our tie. Um, I have the Tarte one on today. And actually, as I was filming throughout the month of September, I have felt that I've, I've actually reached for the Tarte one the most. And I think the reason why is because it had the highest, higher coverage between the two. Um, I, I will tell you that my, my opinion still stands that when I first put the Tarte one on, it's not the best looking, but I feel like as it warms up on my skin, it does look better. Uh, I did powder this today when I put it on. Um, I do feel that a lot of these you do need powder with because of the fact that they just, they look oily. I mean, maybe you like that look, maybe you like the dewier look, but for me, they just did not look the best. So there's that. Um, but I, I will say that probably if I had to be pushed to pick one, I would pick the, the Tarte one as my top one. But I feel like the Sephora one was actually pretty nice too. Um, not it, it was not bad. But I, I did find myself reaching for the Tarte one more often than any of the other ones throughout the month. But I would, I would pick this, the Sephora one up again as well. Especially only, I think it's on sale still for $9. I, I wouldn't hesitate to pick it up for $9. So anyway... I would recommend, if you're interested, not telling you to go out and buy it if you because it's not like a must-have. Um, but if you're interested in a tinted moisturizer type of a product, I would recommend checking these two out. But then again, if you were asking me in general, would I recommend any of the five tinted moisturizers that I picked out this month? I would probably say skip it. Um, you can get some lightweight foundations that look much better that feel nicer on the skin, that don't make you, if you if you get a little bit oilier, um, that don't make you look super oily. Um, I am interested, I am intrigued by the Laura Mercier uh, oil-free version, which I'm definitely gonna have to try to pick up at some point. They just don't have a smaller version of it, so it's on the pricier side. Um, but I'm definitely gonna have to try that at some point because I did like the finish of the Laura Mercier. I just did not like the way it made my skin look. So there you go. Those are my five foundations for September or my tinted moisturizers that I tried out in September. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little bit of a sneak peek for my October foundations. I'm doing high end and I actually have one product, maybe two depending on your definition that you could consider luxury products. So I have actually already tried all of these out. Um, I've already filmed my, my, my first impression videos for these and I will tell you that one of them I'm taking back. Um, one of them I'm taking back. Uh, you'll see next week. <laughs> but let's go ahead and go through which ones I picked up and tried this month. First of all here, I've got the Tarte Shape Tape Matte Foundation in the shade Fair Neutral. This is the matte one. I did not get the hydrating one because um, right now as I'm trying them in September, it is still warm and uh, I definitely don't need a hydrating foundation right now. Uh, there are parts of my face that get a little bit dry that I can put some moisturizer on to help with that, but maybe I will try the Shape Tape Hydrating Foundation sometime in the winter. Um, but for now, I'm trying the matte foundation. Next up is another IT product. I am trying to love IT face products and I'm just not I'm not finding one that works for me. Um, I'm not saying that this one isn't working. I'm just saying that up until now, the other products that I've tried have not worked very well for me. But this is the It Bye Bye Lines Foundation. And I got it in the shade Fair, which that might have been a little bit of my problems with the uh, Bye Bye Foundation, that this was Fair Light. And I did get Fair in the Bye Bye Lines Foundation. So there's that one. Then I also picked up the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Pro Filter Soft Matte in the shade 110. So I was very curious about this product and I wanted to give that one a try. This next one is the one that you could probably consider maybe to not, not just be high end, but more luxury. I will tell you the luxury one at the end, but I have the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation in the shade 1N. Um, I just picked that up in my Sephora haul from earlier this month. And then the final product I would definitely define as a luxury brand. This is actually Kevin Aquan, and this is the Sensual Skin Fluid Foundation in the shade SF02. Um, yeah, 
I would definitely call that a luxury foundation. I picked this up actually on Outlook, so I did not pay full price for this. So there are my five foundations that I'm trying out for the month of October. If you're interested, stay tuned next week. The entire week is going to be my five foundation reviews or my at least my uh, first impressions of those five foundations. Um, anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up down below. If you haven't already and you would like to be, please hit that red subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that little bell to notify you when I do upload new videos. And if you could leave me a comment down below, I'm really curious if you guys like the five days of foundation or if you'd prefer me to do maybe a foundation Friday in 2019. I'm already starting my planning for next year and trying to decide how I want to structure my videos next year. Um... And I always see January as like a new beginning. And as we're heading into October here, we're heading into the final quarter of the year. And I'm already thinking of next year and how I want to want to want to do things on my channel. So I'd love to have your feedback. If you guys like the five days of foundation, the first week of the month, all being foundation reviews, or if you'd prefer me to do something like a foundation Friday, I know there's a lot of other YouTubers who do foundation Fridays. Um, I could definitely do that as well. I'm not sure if you guys like the wrap up video. Um, maybe, you know, if I, if I switch to foundation Fridays, I will stop doing the, the wrap up video because I'll just be doing the first impression videos every Friday. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I definitely want to produce uh, content that you guys are enjoying or want to see. And if this is not something that you're enjoying, if you'd prefer to see maybe a foundation Friday or maybe no foundation reviews, maybe you're sick of foundation reviews on my channel. I don't know. Let me know that in the comment section down below as well. I love to hear your feedback. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next Epic Beauty Fail. Bye.